Hey guys, Maniac here with GameAccess.net doing my uh, Let's Play of the Catherine demo. It's about oh, 3 in the morning local time. And I've just played this demo and I thought it was pretty good. Enjoy our story by taking control of our tormented main character and leading him to freedom. Freedom from what? <laughs> Now, I know this whole game is about relationships, and I definitely am noticing the uh, visual imagery that's uh, going on in the left portion of your screen. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Darn, I was hoping for some volume control. Because the volume control kind of shifts. Let's give it a go. Okay. Start the story from the beginning. You can't save in the demo. And the other two are grayed out, so we have to play this. Strange Tale of Catherine. And these are the controls. You guys don't need to worry about that. I'm playing on the Xbox. I'm, pl I'm playing on the uh, PlayStation 3 version. Uh, there's no real reason behind that other than I had it fired up. And here I thought this was an opening, just like with the movies. This is just a promo for the movie. Uh, this is just a promo for the game producers, and, um, okay, kind of classy. <laughs> okay, the ring reference, uh, Moses reference, get used to seeing that logo because it's going to be with us the entire game. They keep it in the watermark. I hope it's not in the final version. It's up there. I think I cut it out. And here's our main character, guys. And I have no idea what's going on. Okay, this is his dream. Why does he have horns in his dream? Hurry up and climb. Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. You fall dead. Thanks. Die. You fucking serious? The bottom of the stage is falling. Use the directional buttons to move and climb. Okay. Okay, I just want to know exactly, um... Okay. Yeah, seriously. That was the X button. Okay. I'll bet I'll be using that a lot. Oh. Fifth or sixth or seventh. Yay. Okay, let's get it, shall we? Money. Doesn't this violate every law of physics? Oops, sorry. Right, I got it. This is very important, so make sure you remember what I'm going to tell you. But I don't know you. <laughs> what is it? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and No, they're not normal. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. 
You know, do I even need to make any commentary here? I think the guy, I think the main character of the game is doing a pretty good job so far. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more than just this. Let's see if I can do this. See my point? Okay, Cubert, Cubert. Seriously. Oops. Sorry, guys, still going to use the controls. And like a snap. Okay, why does this guy have horns in his dreams? He doesn't normally have horns. My guess is there's two ways that this can be a reference to. And if you're going for Shakespearean in Shakespeare's time, okay, I don't know what the heck that is. Yeah, I'm with you on that. He only has horn in, horns in his dream. In Shakespeare's time, a, horn, a guy with horns was a reference to that your wife is cheating on you. But that's not happening here. At least I don't think it is. The other reference I can think of would be sheep or ram or something that is sleeping. Awesome. Scored pretty good. I'm not going to do that good on the second stage. Blue nails. What girl has blue nails anyway nowadays? Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of it! Were you even listening? Of course not. You're a girl. <laughs> sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> okay, you're smiling that he had to work. You see, she's not even paying attention to him. She's looking more at her nails than she is at her boyfriend. Oh, that's sweet. She does know exactly how he takes his coffee. I'm guessing that's coffee. Could be tea. Have you ever heard of dream? Die. You mean like where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No. I usually do the killing in my dreams. You know what? I'm with you too, bro. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you. Ah, oh, that place is infested. No guy usually can. They kind of blur together after a while, or so I've been told. I want to totally wreck your life. <laughs> yeah, I'm with him. Yeah. You could get laid off, you could be in injured. Oh, that's nice. Hey, is that him? Kind of looks like him, the Afro matches. Now, I like the art style here. It reminds me a lot of... Uh, there was an Animatrix episode. Could very well be directed by the same guy. Exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown. And while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not Hey, change it! The match is on! Who cares over here? Kevin! 
keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. Well, this is supposed this to be Japan. Totally they have much better bars than we do. <laughs> So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. As far as I'm concerned, the people watching are the winners. To me, like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow. Most important to her. You know she's always been the vicious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. Uh, yeah, it kind of might. It might. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soul. <laughs> not like you. Wow, this guy's like me. I told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. Oh. Well, if you never meet this soul, then I'll never get married. What? You're all on your way, man. <laughs> Oh no, Paul. That Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning. He lived with his mom? Yeah, but I thought that was only in the States. Speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I kissed the bed for the first time since grade school. Oh! It's messed up, man. I had a really scary dream. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. Oh, wow. That slightly makes me feel less pathetic. Okay, I think we're going to cut it here, and uh, stay tuned for part two.